Thursday, 11.54 p.m. Hi, this is Tricky from Sparky's. Um, some guy, what did you say your name was, sir? Will Smith. He says his name is Will Smith. He dropped off a guitar for you, for Todd Partridge at Sparky's. So, you can come pick that up. Thank you. So I went up there and picked it up, and they're like, oh, the guitar. And we already looked at it. It's junk. And there was this little note on a Marlboro cigarette thing. Todd Partridge guitar from a guy from Yetter, Will Smith. I'm like, oh, buckskin. So anyway, what I did is fixed his guitar up for him. I bought some parts from Stuart McDonald of New Bridge, some new pins. Um, polished it up, shined it up. It, it plays now, so I'm going to take it back to him today to get her. I have no idea where he lives or uh, what we might find in Yetter, but Tom, you and I are going to go out there and, and try to find out. We're on our way out there to try to see if this guy, if Will Smith, a.k.a. Buckskin, um, if he's around. I don't know where he lives. I know, I know it's in Yetter, and he drives a little blue pickup. That's all I know. We're just going to, Yetter's a town with six streets, three one way and three the other, and probably 50 people in the town. Shouldn't be hard to figure out which one's Buckskin. If not, I guess we could ask some people, not but there's there's where he dropped the guitar off, is Sparky's right here, which is a little convenience store. So we're looking for a little blue pickup, and I think I see one there. Right away, off to the right there. Do you see a little blue? That's a big, a blue, big pickup. blue pickup. There's so a blue that. truck down there, is that? No. no. That's a little bigger. Is it still a little smaller than that? Yeah. Every truck in here is say, blue. Every truck in town is blue. <laughs> That's four blue pickups. What are the odds of that? The blue, blue pickup per house ratio is pretty high. We hit every house right there. And no Will Smith. AKA Buckskin. So we'll swing up to the locker and So we'll find out. Alright, so evidently from the guys in there cutting meat, um, Will Smith lives down this block, second house from the north in a red house. So we're gonna head down there and see. They called him something, Cowboy Bill or Cowboy Will or something like that. So. Right there. Oh boy. Well, you know what? It looks like his pickup's gone. I bet he parks right here. Because I don't think so. I hear someone in there, so I think we got Will Smith around here. Hello? Hi, Will. Hello. Todd Partridge, I brought your guitar back. I brought your guitar back that you left for me at Sparky's. Is this Todd? Yeah, this is Todd. Oh, I wanted you to have it, Todd. Oh, I tuned her up for you and fixed it. Well, my gosh. Can we, can we bring her in? Well, sure. All right. I got my friend Tom here with me. I wanted you to have it. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, yeah. You're not you're not playing much anymore. Or? Well, yeah, I'm playing for church. Well, here. But it was so uh, beat up. Uh, I thought it'd be a good one for you. It needed some work, that's for sure. Yeah, I thought it'd be a good one for you. Well, I mean, I uh, I'll show you. We cleaned her all up and. That bridge is pulled away right there, so I put, yeah. put a new bridge on it. You did that? Yeah, yeah, tuned her up. I thought you just wanted her fixed. I wanted you to have it. Oh my gosh, uh, that is wonderful to bring it to do it, but I wanted you to have it. Tom. Okay, well, um, I'll, I'll accept your gift then. Thank you. I appreciate that, Sue. Well, yeah, that'll make a good one for you. Nice. Thanks. Do you mind playing a couple? No. I remember you played a couple. 
told Tom you had some songs that you had. Let's see. Well, I'll turn the radio down so we can hear you. Yeah. Oh, let's see. Oh, I'm back in the saddle again. Yeah. Out here where a friend is a friend. Where the longhorn cattle feed on the lowly ginseng weed. Yes, I'm back in the saddle again. Out here on the range once more. Toting my old 44. Where you sleep out every night. The only law's right. I'm back in the saddle. Again. Oh, the, Todd, I wanted you to have that guitar. Yeah, well, I, I appreciate it, and I'll take it. Well, I hear that train a-coming. Let's see. Well, I hear that train a-coming. Coming around the bend. And I ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. Well, I'm stuck in Folsom Prison. Time keeps traveling. Son, always be a good boy, don't ever play with guns, but I shot a man in Reno, just to watch him die, oh, when I hear that lonesome whistle, Lord, I'll hang my head and cry. <laughs> Well, you just take that guitar I will. With you. I will. And uh, if you ever need that one tuned or anything, just let me know. But someday I'd like to get those, record some of those old songs you got so <laughs> so we get them recorded down. If you want to start practicing them, I'll come out sometime and record them. Okay. I, know, I remember you had a, a handful of good ones that were your own tunes. Yeah. 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 I. Uh... I've had this little old guitar a long time. Let's see. Howdy folks, I'm a farmer out in Idle Way. I'm up every morning at the crack of day. Out in the fields without a fear. Just me and the birds and my old John Deere. <laughs> oh, pop, 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 popping all day long. Pop and Johnny, it's the same old song. Just two big pistons and a huge rear end. But old Pop and Johnny, it's a darn good friend. <laughs> yeah, oh, I've written all kinds of songs. Yeah, well, we should get some of them recorded, just throw them down, you know, and then, uh, you know, maybe my son would play them or something if we get them recorded down. Oh, sometime in the summertime, I'll come over when you're not busy and, and we'll record them. Let's do it. You know where I live, and, I mean, my schedule's pretty busy sometime, but I'll, I'll make some time to, to get that done. Okay. Yeah, that would be a good, good old time, but I appreciate the guitar, and I, I appreciate your time, and... Well, you're sure welcome, Todd. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to, you to fix that up for me. Well, I, I didn't know what, there was. They didn't even. They didn't know what you wanted, so they just gave it to me. How did? How did you? How? Where did the name Buckskin come from? Because oh, I, I asked up there for buck, Buckskin, and they didn't know Buckskin. Where'd that Ed, come from? Ed Breen. You remember Ed Breen? I know the name, but I don't remember. He gave it to me for at the Fort Dodge station years ago. Oh, that's right. You did radio, didn't you? Oh, yeah. yeah. He says, well, Bill, we'll have to give you a Western name. How's Buckskin Bill? <laughs> and then you're Buckskin from And I was Buckskin Bill ever right. since. Well, Buckskin, thank you. You betcha. All right. Thanks for the good... So that was pretty cool. I wondered if that wasn't the case, but yeah. that's awful nice. I mean, now I know I can do some, some real fixing on it and make that thing sound good because I think it can sound like a good old Marshall or Martin or something. Well, let's head back. Well I guess so we uh, I'm leaving 
with a guitar that I didn't think that I had, which I picked, intending fully to give it to Buckskin, um, but a little richer for the endeavor because now Tom and I got to meet Buckskin Bill, the world famous Buckskin Bill, and have a, a promise that he's going to come and try and put some of those old songs down, which which I think will be entertaining and, and also from an archivist history standpoint, uh, will be nice to kind of preserve that kind of folk Americana feel of his songs and maybe get a few more stories out of him. So, thanks. Do you mind playing a couple? No. I remember you played a couple. I told Tom you had some songs that you had. Let's see. I'll turn the radio down so we can hear you. Yeah.